crazy. Hey, don't think Keisha, it's been a while. Some people think I don't notice when they're not on. God bless you. Amen. We thank you. So it's going to be a wonderful day. Okay, God bless you, Mississippi Madison. I don't know how far that place is from Jackson, but Jackson is on our hit list for next year. You know, we, we, we were hit list of some strategic places that we believe in God to give us access to. Okay, so, um, you know, there's, there's work to be done. And uh, we need to avail ourselves for God to use us if we're preparing the grounds. You know, some of the grounds are so caked up with sin that you can't just show up and expect things to happen. You know what I'm saying? Most of the time, when somebody gets up, nobody gets up like today and say, I'm going to war today. You're going to lose. Do you understand? For you to go to war, you're going to have to have studied the enemy. You have got to have a strategy, and it takes time to put those things in place. Do you understand? And so what we're involved in, what you and I are involved in is not hype. What you and I are involved in is not games, it's not gimmicks. What you and I are involved in is strategic. We need to have a battle plan. We need to be talking to God for God to direct us, for God to show us where to go. Amen. And I say this to you, if God has called us for this assignment, then it means that whatever it is that is bothering us, he will take care of it or he has already taken care of it. How many of you believe that? Amen. If, if we are focusing on the battle, if we are focused on the kingdom agenda, then it means that whatever is an issue for you and I, whatever is a problem for you and I, God has already taken care of it. That is why he's given us another mandate. I know it's very difficult to, you know, to look at it and say, well, you know, am I praying for my own personal stuff or am I doing what prayer mantle is talking about? You know, we have to. You know what I'm saying? We have to know. We have to be focused on the Father's business. Amen. When Jesus came, it was never about him. It was about his father's business. And so I believe that is where the Lord is strategically positioning us. You know, and I keep referring back to a call to prayer. You know, just this year, just a few weeks ago, what took place, what the Lord did. Okay. Uh, it was just like a deposit. It was, it's just a little bit of what the Lord has for us. If we will embrace it. If we will embrace it. What the Lord has for us. What is potentially in store for us here. I'm a firm believer in prayer. The Bible says in the book of Mark, you know, I've been reading the book of Mark, uh, Mark chapter 11. Okay, this is Jesus talking. Listen to this now. Uh, verse 22, Mark chapter 11, verse 22. Jesus says, so Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. So first of all, let your faith be in God. For assuredly, I say to you, who, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Whatever things you ask when you pray, he said, have faith in God. Whatever, whatever, whatever things that you you lack when you pray and you ask God, believe. See, Jesus doesn't look past prayer. Jesus shows you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now he ain't telling you to chase nobody. He's not telling you to be manipulated. He said, have faith in God. Have faith in God. Have faith in God. And so when you have faith in God, whatever it is. That you're going to trust God for when you believe when you pray believe that you have received it it is your belief that will prevent you from going from A to B to C to D to get validation or getting away from the Lord from somebody else praise God 
And so this morning, we're, we're still in prayer. We are still in prayer. We are still in prayer. We will still be in prayer until the coming of Jesus. So whatever it is that you're asking, believe it. Whatever it is that you are in need of, believe it. Whatever it is that you're trusting me for, believe it. And it will be, and it will happen. Amen. Amen. So get ready, okay? I'm just trying to get one of our sisters to put together a package for me that I want to send to you. Okay, the location that we have. Now listen, the locations can change, okay? But those are what we have that we're working with and we're trusting God, okay, that maybe more might be added to the list. But listen to me, this time next year, trust me, you, you will not be surprised. Others who don't know us will be surprised. But those of us who know prayer man when they say, no, no, we ain't surprised. This is what we expected. Mr. Cheryl, you know, like this time next year, when we do a call to prayer, people are like, oh my goodness, I know, well, you know, you, you, you be like, you know, you know, you act like, I ain't surprised, this is what I was expecting, because because we've been praying about it for the, for a year, Sister Robin Lynn, you know, that's how it goes, you know, I ain't surprised, but when they come to you, you know, it's not arrogance, I ain't surprised, this is what I expected, you see what I'm saying, I'll be like, why, why are you acting surprised, don't you believe in God, you've been in church for 30 years, you don't believe, you don't believe God would do that? But you know, you know where you're coming from because you've been praying about it for one year. You see what I'm saying? Well, when we did our last conference, this is what the Lord told us to do. This is how he told us to prepare. So this is why, you know, it's no surprise to us. We expected this. See, when Jesus, when G see, G remember yesterday I told you, Jesus pulled the disciples to the side. His, you know, Sister Tamala, and he said, listen, we're going to Jerusalem. This is what is, they're going to mock me. They're going to scourge me. They're going to beat me up. They're going to kill me. But on the third day. See, we're going to go through, listen to me, in the next couple of months, we're going to go through challenges. You know, some of us are going to be hurt. Some of us are going to go through a holy process because what is now, our third day is a call to prayer next year. So I'm letting you know that all these things are going to happen, but guess what? On the third day, we are going to rise up. On the third day, what is now, there is going to be a tangible presence and a tangible manifestation of Jehovah. Because that is what we're going to present. Not personal agenda. Not personal. We are going to present God. That is what we're going to. That's why I'm preparing your heart to get you ready. You understand? I'm, I'm preparing your heart to get you ready. Because that's what Jesus did to he told them this was going to happen. Don't be surprised because I've already told you. We're going to see. I'm not talking about, you know, sometimes they fake these miracles where they put people who walk in, in, in wheelchairs and then they, when it comes to the miracle, they, they tell them to stand up and walk. We ain't talking about those ones. Oh, yeah, if you didn't know, I just, I just killed a demon. You see what I'm saying? I ain't talking about those ones. I'm talking about real, authentic, genuine. The blind will see, not somebody who pretends to be blind. The deaf will hear, not somebody who pretends to be deaf. But the power of God for real will hear. Simply because he also goes on to say, if my people who are called by my name. He said, if you pray about it, believe it. Believe that those locations have been given to us. Let us have that confidence and that assurance that those locations have been given unto us and nobody can take it away from us. Nobody can mess with us. Nobody can frustrate us because guess what? It belongs to us. It is ours to keep forever. It is ours. It, is, it belongs to us. Amen. In Jesus' name. So let's stand on this scripture in Mark chapter 11 from verse 22 where Jesus is saying, Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. We're going to start off by praying and asking God to forgive us for all our sins that we've committed against him. In Jesus' name, we're going to ask him to cleanse us. We're going to ask him to show us uh, the areas that we're being challenged at that we need to hand over to him. Can we do that? In Jesus' name, come on, let's begin to pray. Father, we thank you for your magnificence and Father God, for your spirit. Father God, we are grateful to you. We are excited at the same time with this journey that you're getting ready to take us on. Father God, this battle that you're getting ready to take us through. And Father, 
we are asking for inside information we want to know how this battle is going to pan out we want to know what is it that father god we need to do what role we need to pray we need to play father god and what we need to pray about in jesus name so that father god nothing will creep up on us as a surprise but that father god we will be able to be victorious in christ jesus father forgive us the things which prevents us from going forward, the things which prevents us from, Father God, from locking down, Father, from God not being able to go as far as we're supposed to. Father, forgive us. Strengthen us so that we can prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That is the first prayer. Now, listen, uh, I don't want us to think that, you know, it's only America that you know call to prayer is for. Okay, it's not just America, you know, it's for the nations. And as I said, I don't know anywhere, you know what I'm saying? It's only if we get the opportunity or we get the invitation or we get someone who's willing to support, you know, to be a partner, you know, with uh, as, as we take this ministry around, then we can also look at other locations and other cities and other states and other nations, okay? We pray about it. But as we let the call to prayer, we got some requests, okay? We have definitely, obviously, Charlotte. We have... Uh, you know, Jackson, Mississippi, we have Colorado, we have uh, uh, Tex Dallas, Texas, we have uh, uh, Columbus, Ohio. These are places that we have, you know, that we have communication with the people who are trying to, you know, we're trying to work with them to bring it, okay? So as we're praying, some of you, it will be what the Holy Ghost will pour on the inside of you for you to make a step, for you to make some inquiries, to see what is possible. We need like-minded people. We need people who are not interested in money. My volume is, is all up. I turn it all up. Maybe turn your volume up and see if it will work. My volume is up. Or do I need to speak louder? You can't hear? Try turn up your volume. Sorry. Okay? So, you know, there's a role that we all need to play. You see what I'm saying? It's still low? Is it me? Is it my connection? You know, the weather is it's kind of like we're in the rainy season, so I think all of that stuff is affecting. Is it better? It's not better. It's too low. Oh God, forgive me. I'm okay. 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 So, I haven't, we haven't decided on the dates yet, but I'm going to, I'm going to try and send you a package, okay, with, with my thoughts, the vision. Okay. I'm going to try and, you know, and send you my thoughts and my vision. Okay. Uh, and you know how we are believing God to direct us okay what, what I believe the Lord is saying for 22 for 2019 okay so um, I'm gonna present that to you as and when it is done okay I'm gonna present that to you as and when it is done uh, because I believe that you know you need to know so that you can know the vision I want to present to you everything that the Lord has been asking us to do as a ministry okay where we are so far and the direction that the Lord is directing us to so that you can be a part of it. I know a lot of you are part of it anyway, but just to have it on paper to be excited to see where we're going. Okay? In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. So let's let's take up a second prayer. Jesus is saying that if we if we ask for something, we need to believe. See, let your faith first of all be in God, not in no man. You know, I teach this, not in no man. Listen, we love our men of God. We love our women of God. And it's good we, we serve them, we love them. But let your faith, is Jesus talking, okay? Okay? This is Brenda, I'm coming. Okay? Let your faith be in God, first and foremost, number one. And then the second thing is, when you pray, you have got to believe that God has heard you. God has heard you. Okay? And if you believe that God has heard you, then you know that the answer is not going to be delayed or denied. I'm teaching you this. Have faith in who? God. You know, last night I was so troubled, you know. Sister Cheryl, you know, I don't know, somebody, I think somebody from Bremen to repost somebody's periscope, you know, uh, the devil and, you know, I didn't watch it, but I'm like, God, you know, I mean, because it disturbs me. But I leave it to God. God handle it. God handle it. You know, God, God will deal with it. 
God will deal with it. It disturbs when people are still being manipulated. It disturbs me. It disturbs me. But you know, God will handle that. I, I believe that when the when the true men of God and women of God stand at the right time, all these uh, jokers will be shut down. I truly believe that. You know, um, God will God will do what He does best. God will do what He does best. Okay. So that's why Jesus is saying, have faith. He didn't say have faith in man. He said, have faith in God. You know, so many people don't have faith in God. I've not taught you for a long time, so I might as well take some, some minutes from you this morning. So many people don't have faith in God. They have faith in men. Because that's what they've been conditioned. Oh, that's your man of God. You know, I'm your prophet. I'm your this. Let me tell you something. They're flesh and blood just like you. And believe you me, from the beginning, right up, if you look at scripture, from the beginning, Adam and Eve messed up, failed God. All Abraham, name them. So you've got to be careful. Your faith ultimately, many have walked away from God, not because God did anything to them, but it's because somebody that they believed in did something to them. They trusted and believed in that vessel so much that when the person messed up, that was their God. So because of that, they walked away and said, God, God never failed them. It was man. So that's why I keep teaching you, your faith has to be in God. You've got to get to that place of maturity. Your faith is not in Brother Albert. Your faith is in the fact that, what just now, God can use a vessel like him to teach me how to pray. But I've still got to have my own prayer life. So that guess what? When he gives up, even though I pray that he never gives up, I will still be prayerful. Because what is now, when he gives up, guess what? I will pray him back to his original position. Because I know what God has called him to do. But there's some people, when somebody that they know gives up, they give up too. Their faith was never in God. It was in that person. You see what I'm saying? So that is how you have got to be. Your faith has to be in God. Your trust has to be in God. So that if a human being fails you, when somebody comes up with a whole theology, a whole new doctrine, like that, like that guy was on social media a few weeks ago talking about there's no hell. Brother, you say, excuse me, you walk out from that place. Because you're like, you know what, brother, I'm going to pray that you get back to your senses. You see what I'm saying? Because your faith is not in man. My faith is in God. My faith is in God. Because sometimes I don't even have faith in myself. There's something, sometimes I have got to rise up and look past myself and look to God and look at His word. I say, oh God, give me some of that this morning. You see what I'm saying? Give me some of that this morning. Because some, I don't even have faith in myself that I can accomplish the things that He has told me that I'm going to. So I need to have trust and faith in Him. That is where I want to get you to. That is the level, that is the realm that I want you to enter into. That is the place that you need to be. God is my witness. When the girls brought me the list for their school uniform, I said, God, this is a whole bunch of money. And I was saying to my, you know, that voice keeps telling you, Abba, you're so silly. What have you let yourself in for? All your money is going to run out. Be serious. Just a few days ago, they sent me the list of their school, school uniform. uniform. I said, Lord Jesus, that's a whole bunch of money. Whole bunch of money. But I've got to believe in the God who allowed us to meet them. Because it wasn't coincidence. It is God who allowed us to meet them. And it is God who is going to empower us, what is now, to transform their lives. That the bloodline, whatever is in there that is not good, what is now, by our action, their lives will be turned around. We've got to trust God. He has got to make the provision. Our warehouse has got to be filled with the things of God. Have faith in God. I love Jesus. You know, I love when Jesus talks. It eliminates human voice. It eliminates human thinking. Because he talks to you. He deals with you at where you are. And he's real. He doesn't sugarcoat stuff. He will tell you that, listen to me. I'm about to get killed. Listen, they're about to beat me up. 
They are about to humiliate me. Yes, I am God. Listen. They're going to do X, Y, Z to me. But I want you to know that on the third day, it will not be like that anymore. On the third day, I'm going to get myself back up from that place. And when I get back up, I will not look like what they did to me. I will not be traumatized by what they did to me. As a matter of fact, the people who did that to me will stand back and say, Oh my goodness. You know, like if you ever watch African movies, when somebody like, Oh my God, what did I just do? If only if I knew. Oh my goodness, what did I just do? That is what I love about Jesus. He doesn't sugarcoat because he ain't trying to raise no money. He don't need no money from nobody. He will tell you, say, listen, Sister Cheryl, this is what you're going to go through. Dr. Nikisha, this is what you're going to go through. Sister Robin, Brother Willie, this is what you're going to go through. And I promise you that what is now, if you stand firm, if you are consistent, if you walk the walk, then I promise you that on the other side, which is your third day, you will rise up from the mockery. They have to mock you. They have to laugh at you because that is how you would know what is now. When your third day comes, you will know who should be around you and those who are not supposed to be around you. Are you hearing me? Some of the reasons why that third day comes, or what is now, sorry, what, why the mockery and all those things come is because some of us, I keep saying this, listen to me, we have people around us that we think they, 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 you know, like, you know, oh, these people, you know, like, this is my best friend. You can never say anything to me about this person. You think they have your back, like you do, yes. Oh, listen, listen, I'll take a bullet for, how many of you have ever said that thing before for a friend? Oh, I'll take a bullet for my friend. You understand? I'll take a bullet, I'll do this, I'll do that. And then they disappoint you like big time. And then you're messed up, you're miserable. Say, so, hey! Wow! You, you, know, you, you, you know, you're lost for words. Wow! Sister Cheryl did this to me. Wow! Wow! Did this to me. Wow! You're lost for words. You don't even know what to say. You don't even know what to say. But it is because, listen to me, your third day, you're not meant to have all these jokers around you. And the only way to cut off these jokers is to allow the mockery, the humiliation, the, tr the test and the trials to come. So that the jokers will be exposed. I was saying this to a friend of mine, you know, when we came to the house yesterday and we were having a conversation and, and I said, Sister Cheryl, I said to him, I was, I'm so glad that I met some of these jokers in the last three, four, five years. You know why I said that? Because you know me, a call to prayer, I probably would have brought one or two of them to share the stage with me. Oh yeah, you know me, I'm very open. I said, you know, I said, hey, come and bless the people because I'd have believed that they were of God. Do you understand? So all the things that I went through four or five years ago, it was for me to see. Sister Akila, it was for me to see. So now the Lord said, Albert, don't you dare. You know, when I was, uh, when I was, uh, when, 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 you know, when I finished the prayer, I was talking to my bishop in London. He said, Albert, this is to let you know that God is telling you that you need to rise up. Don't be fearful. Don't be scared. Stand on your own. So he told me. I still have the messages on my phone. You understand? So Sister Akila, I went through all of those things three, four, five years ago. So I guess what? God will make sure that I don't allow any contaminated vessel to come and place their hands on me. Oh, Sister Sherry, yes. So that I would, so that, listen to me, so that no contaminated vessel will come and put their hands on you. Because listen to me, a lot of you, a lot of you, and I say this, and I'm thankful to God, you believe in the God that is on the inside of you. We have that connection. Brothers and sisters, we talk. You see what I'm saying? So you believe. And sometimes the mistake is that what is now, 
because of who I am, you know, I've always been told, ah, oh, but you know, you think everybody's like you, you think everybody's genuine, you think everybody's, you know, honest. Do you see what I'm saying? So you feel like, you know, just because somebody has a title, you know, I'm learning not to believe that anymore. I'm very defensive, but when I meet somebody for the first time, I'm like, okay, okay, let me see, let me, let me, let me, let me pray. Let me see what they're about. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, what has happened has taught me a lesson. Now, I'm very careful. And the platform that the Lord is opening on to us, prayer might hold me accountable. If you see somebody that, you know, maybe I'm thinking of bringing, say, hey, Brother Albert, who's this person? I pray, say, hold me accountable. Say, have you prayed? Say, Brother Albert, I don't know if you prayed about this one. But let's pray. Sister Mary does that. Say, you know what? You know, prophet, you know, I, I, and I say, Sister Mary, say whatever you have to say. Do you see what I'm saying? I said, don't be scared. Because listen, I'm not God. Do you understand? So if the Lord is telling you something, open your mouth and say it. I be serious. We've got to be held accountable. And I pray, and listen to me, as we're praying about this location, listen to me, as the fire is getting ready to, to really back, like be lit up, let me tell you something, you're going to have people come out from the woodworks. So that's why we need to pray to make sure that we don't allow any contaminant to come and mess with what the Lord is doing, the clean thing that the Lord is doing. Amen? I hope this morning has been a blessing. I've not taken your time for a long time, okay? So forgive me. You know, Don't get upset with me now, okay? I still love you. In Jesus' name, God bless you. One thing, someone is asking about the girls. So they're making their school uniforms now. Okay, I, I sent them some money yesterday. So I sent them half of the money for their school uniform. So they, 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 they're excited. They called me, you know, we're going to make our uniform. I said, okay, go ahead. You know, um, so they start school on the 6th, right? So I told you yesterday, I shared, I got all the books for them. The only one that I couldn't find, anywhere I go, it's like it's out of print. The Student Cookery Book by Enid O'Reilly Wright. That's the only book that we have, you know, we've, you know, I've got everything. And God being so good, I got it for cheap. Like, I got them for cheap. You know, it's like, you know, used, but it's in good condition. Okay? They're in good condition. So, you know, um, if, listen to me, if you want to support them, okay, because what's going to happen is the first month, apparently they have some practicals. So, I don't know, I don't know, hey, you need to stop that. You know, there's somebody that keeps putting, are we going to pray or not? You need to stop that. You need to stop that. Because you do that, you do that a lot. You need to stop that. We've been praying. Okay? It doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't sit well. We don't do that. Okay? And I've seen this in love. So, uh, you know, whatever it is that you want to give to support them, okay, do it. Maybe after one month, maybe after one month, we will be able to, uh, you know, we'll be able to, uh, you know, to figure out how much it's going to cost. So the first month of August, I don't know because I don't know what the practical is, how much it's going to cost or whatever, okay? So maybe from September, once they've done one month, then we will know, okay? Uh, you know, um, the book, that, that yeah, maybe the last one might be here, you know, but um, at least they've got most of them now. So I'll figure out how I can get my hands on the last one. Maybe when they go to school. Uh, I saw the link. It has that one? Okay, I need to check it. My internet wasn't working properly. The Student Cookery Book by Enid O'Reilly Wright. Uh, we'll check it out. If, if you find it anywhere, send me the link and let me see if I can order it to Ghana or to London. Then my sisters can bring it when they're coming. My sisters are coming next week or the week after, so they can bring it. You know, they can bring it to them. Okay? Um, so, you know, we set them on the right path. That is, you know, you, you know, we just broke a curse. Because their future was, you know, it was, it was bleak. But because of you and I, God has turned their lives around. So they're making their uniforms and everything, okay? So as soon as it's done, I'll send you pictures so you will see where your money is going, okay? I'll send you pictures of their uniform and what they've done. Amen? So God is good. So thank you so much for once again coming out to support. We're doing great things, okay? I told you that, you know, we've been selected to, uh, you know, this government trying to build factories in Ghana. And because of the farming project, they've, you know, they, they're impressed. So they are looking to, we've been selected as one of the people to build the factory. So I'll get more information and I'll come and share with you, okay? God is good. Amen. God is good. Amen. God is good. God is a blessing. So always remain faithful, okay? Always remain faithful. And let's keep on praying. Yeah, they have to make their own uniform. 
Do you remember I sent you the, the booklet with all the, you know, everything that you have to buy? You know, in Ghana, you have to buy everything. So, you know, they've taken it there and they're making it for them. So, that's good. Okay, so when it's done, I'll send you, you know, the pictures of their uniform so you see where the money went. Those of you that were looking to support, I don't know if you got the email, but I sent you a breakdown of the costing for everything. Did you receive it? I, you know, you should have received it. I sent you a breakdown of the cost for everything that they, you know, they went out to make an inquiry. Give me a breakdown. Okay, you got it. Okay, all right. So that will, that lets you know, um, you know. Um, I only send it to those who had emailed me to say, you know, because I don't like to bother nobody. So if you say you want to be, like, you want to help them, I want you to know every step along the way, you know, how, you know what I mean? how they're getting along okay so sister brenda make sure if you send the donation make sure you make sure you put their names on there so it can be separated okay it can be separated say this is specifically for them okay so you know when when i get a proper budget when they start on the sick okay and i get a breakdown of let's say how much the practicals will cost and that kind of thing again i'll let you know so that we will know you know basically i'll be updating you all the monies that will be spent i'll be sending to so you know for yourself Okay, what is going on? Okay, I want you to I want you to be as involved as possible. You see what I'm saying? And it's because some of you, that is the way that you will know how far you've come as a believer. So the devil cannot come and intimidate you when you go to say, God, listen, you better give me that promotion on a job because these girls need some more money. I need to help more girls. I spoke to one of our sisters about two days ago. She said, Listen, she went for this promotion. She was saying, Listen, I want to do more for the kingdom. You see what I'm saying? You understand? Thank you, Sister Brenda. You know, I want to do more for the kingdom. So, God, you be, listen, sometimes, listen, you can say, God, listen, you can be so bold and confident. God, I'm going to go to sleep. You just go and work on the promotion because, God, you know, prayer man needs more money. So, God, if I don't get this promotion, but the other can't do the project. So, God is between you and him. You go and sleep. That's confidence. Because you, you know you ain't going to spend the money on yourself. I said, God, there's a promotion on the job. Then you mention all the names of the people who are going for God. I don't think none of them go to church. I don't think none of them give to your kingdom. So God, if you let them get it, then that's on you. And go to sleep. And what if God won't do it? Because, see, you're practicing. And sometimes that is all that it is. It's what you're doing. When God blesses you, say, God, we need this for this. My, when I get that check, God, I'm going to make sure prayer mantle gets this. This ministry gets this. Why won't God cause you to be blessed? Okay, so God bless you. Okay, in Jesus' name. Have a blessed day. We're going to come on tonight. Let's bow our heads and let's pray. Let's cover ourselves. Let's cover our children. Let's cover ourselves from anything that is bad news. Anything that is evil. Anything that is a disaster. Let's cancel it and let's protect ourselves. Let's cover our homes, our children, the vulnerable ones, the babies, those who don't talk yet. Let's cover them so that the devil will not be able to suppress them even from a young age in jesus name come on let's pray holy ghost we thank you father we bless your name father we eliminate that which the devil wants to do father god we protect our loved ones father we protect our children father we lift up your name which is everlasting and father we glorify you god saying that god we are grateful that you have brought us this far we are thankful that god you have remembered us we are thankful that father god Oh, your name is highly exalted. We are thankful that, Father, you have not eliminated us from the land of the living, even though that is what the devil wanted. But, Father, we still have the breath of life for that we are grateful and we are thankful. We bless the name that is above all names. We lift up the name that is above all names. Father God, we thank you this morning. Let your name be glorified. Let your name be praised in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name we pray. Ha, yes, Lord. Amen. My help. Don't let me start singing. Come it from the Lord, which made heaven. Amen. Mickey is where he's sleeping. But I'm sleeping now. My help coming from the Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. So pray until I love you, okay? Uh, as always, let the Lord lead you, okay? Let the Lord direct you. I'm so excited about what the Lord is going to do. I promise you, next year's call to prayer, you'll be like, wow. The fear has gone out of me. You know, I was very fearful this time. I'll be honest with you. It just, just took over me. I was locked up in the room and, you know, I just let the team handle everything because I didn't think nobody would turn up. I'm pretty serious, you know. But I'm, I'm, I'm very, very much on a high now, you know, putting some plans in place. We're going to transfer. We're going to do a whole bunch of, you know, you know, to make it look as, you know, I mean, prayer mantle will get uh, even, you know, what we'll probably do. And I'm going to send this to my team. Prime Mountain people will have a special card. When you get there, you show the card, you get in first. How about that? 
How about that? You get in there say, hey, this is prayer mantle. I'm part of prayer mantle. You get in first. Everybody else has got to wait. You get priority seating. Amen? We're going to do all of that, okay? So just, you know, just keep, you know, just keep praying for your brother, okay? In Jesus' name. I'll try and send out. I'm going to put something together. When, like, if we give a certain amount between now and, let's say, by next year, May or June, we will have our budget met. You know what I'm saying? Not just maybe for one location, but for two or three, so we don't have to worry about finances. Because, you know, when you're dealing with spiritual warfare, you need to be tuned into God. The last thing you want to be worried about is how the bills are going to be paid. Because it can cause you to tune out. You know what I'm saying? So I want to be able to come there knowing that all our bills are handled. So when I come in, I don't even need to focus on that. I just come and do the spiritual assignment. Okay? In Jesus' name. So I love you all. God bless you. Thank you for sticking with prayer mantle. Without you, there'll be no prayer mantle. Without you, there'll be no prayer mantle. So, you know, thank you so much. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sister Robin, yeah, yeah. We've got to start early. That's the mistake that I made. You know, this year I didn't raise no budget. We just came there. Hey, listen, I was so nervous. You have no idea. I was very scared. So I've come back and I've looked at everything. You know, I said, you know what? Let's, if we start now, you know, if we just start putting a little amount to the side, I'm going to send you a card where you put the money. Once you've done it, you take every month. You know, you take. You know, like them old school church where, you know, you like, you know, you just take. Okay, I've done January. I've done February. I've done August. You know, and if we do that, the amount that you can do, okay, even if you can do more, you know, even if I put the amount that you feel like you can do more, you do it. And then at the end of the, at the end of the month or whatever, we will let you know this is how much we've raised. So each location we will know how much the budget is and we will have enough money to cover. When we walk away, we want to be make sure, we want to make sure we paid everybody so nobody will talk bad about us. That's what we want. You know what I'm saying? We want people to want to work with us. That's what we want, okay? So, you know, we start early, it will be done. Thank you so much. I love you all. Jackson, Mississippi. Remember, I'm coming to Jackson, Mississippi. You remember, that's the place that the lady slapped me. So when I'm coming, I, I have to be careful. I have to be watching. You know, I have to make sure when I'm doing deliverance that nobody slaps me. But I love Jackson, okay? So I'll be coming there, okay? So God bless you. I love you all. Okay? So as soon as everything is done, I'll let you know, okay? If, if you know where I can get that book for the girls, let me know. That's the only book that's left. We've got everything. My sisters have it in London. They're coming, so they'll bring it. Okay? So, you know, you know, God is good. God is good, you know. God is good. I'm so happy that we, we were able to help them and assist them. Okay? And um, I pray that, you know, some of you will probably meet them one of these days when you come to Ghana. Okay? I'll probably get them to do a video to say thank you. Uh, you know, lost my house. That's, that's, that's it. You know, do you see what happened in Greece? Do you remember? I, I, I don't know if you saw it. A whole bunch of people that fired destroyed everything. Everything. Let me tell you something. The, most of this stuff that we fight over is temporary. Now, don't get me wrong. It's nice to have this. You know, you don't want to be worried about money, houses, and that kind of stuff. So it's good to have it. But trust me. Let your faith be in God. Invest in this. Okay. Let's do good. Let's do charity buddies like we do. That is why, listen to me, people are baffled. People are, you know, people are the court of prayer like, for real? How, how is this possible? They couldn't believe, Sister Renee, they, they couldn't believe what happened. You understand? They couldn't believe it. They're like, wow, how is this possible? With the minimalist of advertising. But look at God. So guess what? Next year is going to be, listen, that's why I say prime mantle. We're going to be prepared, okay? Because I don't want you guys to be at the back. I want you guys to be at the front. Be sitting at the front and you'll be helping out. And I'll let my team know, okay? Prime mantle folk. If somebody needs to catch, you just jump in there and catch. You understand? In Jesus' name. So love you. God bless you. We'll speak soon, okay? Bye-bye. See you tonight. See ya. Bye-bye.